the throne is a symbol of authority in the ancient and medieval world. So much so that much like you might uh, still see somewhat represented in court as the judge walks in, all rise, and then the judge is seated. In the ancient world, the judge was the only one who sat. Same thing with teachers in classrooms. Students stood, especially college students, and listened to the professor profess. Kings would come and sit under their judgment seat and, and reign as judge over all of their subjects. The throne is the symbol of authority, right? Now, St. Thomas talks about three levels of authority. There's authority or respect that is given because the person is human. And that never goes away. Even the worst and most awful human being, you know, the kinds of people that if you accidentally hit with your car, you might not stop to see if they're okay. Don't think too much about that. That's never happened to me. I have had some people that I've only vir- known virtually, and I'm like, well, if I ever meet you, I'm just going to rub your face against a wall. I have no idea. Then there's the authority you give to people because it is bestowed. The respect you people have because it's bestowed. You know, police officers, teachers, you know, people who say figures in authority. And then at the highest level is the respect authority given because it is earned. This is a person worth following. The Lord, for sure, has those other two kinds, respect and authority. But the only one he ever leverages is the third kind, by way of love. And that is a thing to model ourselves after. So many people, it's so easy, right? You just got to watch little kids. You get a little bit of authority. Just a little bit. That they go a lot. And all of a sudden, you got to listen to me. I'm in charge. Okay? With none of the actual honor and respect that would get people to follow them. If you can only lead by force, you are no leader. If you're, all of your authority is by force, you have nothing. Maybe even worse than nothing. Because the second that authority is taken away, nobody cares. But if you can lead through action, demand respect. Not because I told you you need to follow me, but because you desire to follow me because of the things that I've already done. That is a person worth following. And it will never change. It would take a substantial trauma in their life for things to be different. Because you're following the person of virtue. And that's, that's a person worthy of the respect and the authority.